What's up guys? Today I'm going to do a little um, guide tutorial thing on A and B uh, all in one bot. So let's get right into it. I decided to do this video because when I was like looking around for videos on A and B, I couldn't really find it. Well, I could. They have some on their YouTube page, but in their videos, no one's talking. So I thought that was kind of weird and it, I don't like reading, so I didn't really like the videos. But I'm just going to kind of give you guys like a quick overview of everything in A and B all in one bot. I have the version 2. I think that's the one they're selling now. And I think it's the most popular version out right now. So I'm just going to quick run through that. So when you open up A and B, this is what you're going to see. Uh, you'll get this uh, little loading screen right here. Your version. Well, what is going to be right there in that bottom left corner? Uh, it also should have it right here. Uh, your version number is going to be right here. So if they come out with any updates, once you open it, you can, uh, once you open it, you it'll usually tell you if there's any updates or if it doesn't, you can just go here, click check for updates. Uh, it says your bot is up to date. So I'm all good. Um... So here you can just see your account details, uh, when it expires, number, uh, max amount of tasks, extra info. What you want to do first is just go to billing, uh, create your uh, first billing profile. So to do that, just click add new in the bottom left and then pretty self-explanatory here. You can just type in, I'm just going to do another test profile. I already have one. So if all this stuff all your billing address matches your shipping address you can just check the same as billing and uh, it'll just copy right over you don't have to do it twice and then enter your card info right here and then this button down here is check out once per site so if you only want this card to check out once on a site because you don't want any of your like orders getting uh, canceled or anything like that just click this button right here um, so if one if you have multiple tasks running with the same card, with the same card, um, it'll only let it go through once. But I already have my test profile set up for later, so now we're gonna go to proxies. A and B suggests that you do 80% uh, of your proxies as normal proxies, as you can see here, and then 20% um, as monitor proxies. I don't have um, that exact ratio, but it's close it's not gonna kill me right now we're not doing anything huge so I'm just gonna leave it at 21 normal and then for monitor proxies these monitor proxies are gonna be for the monitor obviously you can open up your Shopify monitor by just clicking this button in the bottom left right here it says Shopify monitor that'll bring this up um, if you want to monitor a specific site you can just uncheck this all sites click this little drop down menu it'll have pretty much all the sites right here that you need um, you can just click on one and then enter positive and negative keywords I'm just gonna leave mine at all right now and then hit save so like I could do Yeezy and let's do 350 because I don't want anything else so let's just save that for right now um, so while that's running, I'm just going to put this over here. I don't really need this right now. If anything pops up, I'll be able to see it. Um, so once you have in your billing and proxies uh, set up, you're going to be able to go over to settings and then go to Shopify settings. So as you can see here, this is for your uh, quick task. So you could select it'll give you the option to select um, some of your billing profiles I'm gonna check these three right here that I want and then this is any account details for uh, sites that need accounts we're not gonna do that right now I have size on random task is normal mode you can run half your task or switch your task between normal and fast mode when you do this and then uh, capture mode you for sites with with capture obviously do obviously do with and then without so I'm gonna do both I'm just gonna make two tasks so this is in case anything happens 
if your monitor catches anything uh, this will how many this is how many tasks it'll make um, and then the restock delays how quickly it checks how, how much it checks for uh, restocks so we could just save that and then other than that that should be about it for right there for right now um, so let's do let's create a task so to create a task all you have to do is go down here to add new and then you can either go to Shopify, Adidas, Mesh, Foot Size, Other, or Shopify Monitor, or we're gonna we're just gonna go to Shopify. Um, let's do let's do Bodega. So I'm gonna open up a uh, Google Chrome really quick, and then go to Bodega. Let's just go to their footwear. So I'm gonna do the Stranger Thing uh, Cortez. That leather, they're not bad. All right. Anyways, so I'm just gonna copy this link. This would be used as the early link. Um, if you use, if you're going in as a guest, just click guest here. Uh, this will be your username and password. Um, we're gonna be using an early link. Let's do, let's try. For, let's do fast mode size. I'm just gonna do random. Early link, you just paste that in there. Min price, max price, I'm not gonna mess with that. Okay, we're not gonna do the shipping rate right now. So I just put in my test profile. I'm gonna make, let's say, five tasks. Um, this would be browser checkout cart. So this would, when it adds to your cart and fills out your info, it's gonna pop right up as a new browser. And then you finish from there. PayPal is going to pretty much do the same thing. It's going to add it to your cart, get you to PayPal, and then it'll pop up as a as a uh, as a window. So that's what that is. I'm not going to do that right now. I can do one of those later. So we're just going to hit save, and then our you can see our task pop up here. To turn on and see your logs, you can click that little button right there to flip them on and off. I usually like seeing mine on just to see specifically where they're at in the process. So from here, all we pretty much have to do is either do start all, and then if once they're on, we can click stop all, and then once they're off, we can click delete all. If you're running keywords, um, what you could do once the drop is, have your monitor up, um, and once you see they drop, use copy link. Or, ma or use mass edit link in task, click that, and they should all change. If you just copy the link, you're gonna have to go here, click mass edit link, paste the link in, and then click change all task, save, and then it'll use that link. But we already have the link, so we don't really need that. To change the uh, delay, um, highlight all so I just click the first one hold shift click the last one right click and then this pops up click set task delay and then for this I'm just gonna put 1750 no let's just go with 2000 before we do that we're gonna have to open up captcha we already have one open actually but what you're gonna want to do when you first open it is click open captcha Obviously, click what you're running on. So Shopify, Adidas, SNS, Sense, Paxson, whatever. Click Shopify, and this little guy should pop up right here. What you're gonna want to do is go here, make a new tab. Oh, it already probably yeah. Google, and then click on one of these. Sign in. So sign into your Google account, preferably the oldest one you have, the one that's used the most. And then you should be good. I'm not gonna sign it right now. I don't feel like doing all that because this is just a test anyways. So from here, this is where you would start your task. Uh, you can just click start all. Uh, you can obviously click in here to see your logs. Um, if you wanna do the browser checkout, you would just do everything the same way, but then just select either of these at the bottom or you can select them both. Uh, it'll create a task for each, so it'll automatically be two. And then obviously you can enter the amount of tasks you want here. 
but that's about it. If you guys have any more questions, just let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to drop the link to my cook group in the description too. It's free right now while it's in beta mode, so definitely go check that out. We have a lot of early links, release guides, and all that that you guys need to cop. In our first week, we actually copped 173 pairs of landmarks, so that was pretty dope. Uh, we only had around, I don't know how many members at that time, but it wasn't many because that was literally our first week that we were... Um, actually a group so that was pretty cool so i'll definitely drop that in the description uh go check us out uh and i'll see you guys next time